inspect the patient's knees, noting their alignment and any deformities. Note atrophy of the quadriceps muscles or loss of the normal hollows around the patella. Then palpate the suprapatellar pouch on each side of the quadriceps, noting any thickening, swelling, or tenderness. Also palpate along each side of the patella. Identify any thickening, swelling, or increased warmth. Repeat on the other side. If you suspect a small amount of fluid in the knee, look for a bulge sign. First, milk the medial aspect of the knee firmly upward with the ball of your hand to displace any fluid. Next, press or tap the knee just behind the lateral margin of the patella. Watch for a bulge of returning fluid into the hollow medial to the patella. None is seen here. In another patient, there is a positive bulge sign. If you suspect a larger amount of fluid in the knee, check for a balloon sign. To do so, rest the thumb and index finger of your right hand on each side of the patella. With your left hand, compress the suprapatellar pouch back against the femur. Feel for fluid entering the spaces under your right thumb and finger. If you feel it, a balloon sign is present. If fluid is felt, Press the patella backward against the femur with your right hand as your left hand feels for fluid returning to the suprapatellar pouch. A palpable return of fluid confirms a balloon sign. None is felt here. If the patient has a history of knee pain, compress the patella and move it against the underlying femur. Then push the patella distally and ask the patient to tighten the knee against the table. Pain and crepitus suggest a patellofemoral disorder. Now flex the patient's leg at the knee to about 90 degrees. With your thumbs, press into the tibiofemoral joint on each side of the patellar tendon. Feel along the tibial margins. Tenderness from a damaged meniscus may be present here. Then palpate along the course of the collateral ligaments, laterally and medially. Okay, good. Let's try the other leg now. 